Gary Berghoff's departure from MASH, where he flawlessly brought to life Radar O'Reilly, unraveled a lot of emotions, behind which lingered a poignant and multifaceted tale. Join Facts First as we present the heartbreaking reason Gary Berghoff left MASH. Berghoff and his iconic role Gary Berghoff's portrayal of Corporal Walter Radar O'Reilly in the beloved TV series MASH is deeply embedded in the annals of classic TV history. Berghoff was the only actor to transition from the original 1970 film MASH to the subsequent TV series, maintaining his role and becoming one of the show's most beloved characters. His journey to securing the role was quite straightforward due to his stellar performance in the film. The character of Radar, with his Midwestern innocence and uncanny ability to hear helicopters before anyone else, became a staple in the series, providing a contrast to the often cynical and chaotic environment of the Mobile Army Surgical Hospital during the Korean War. Radar was the company clerk, responsible for the unit's day-to-day -day operations, and often served as a foil to the surgeon's antics, providing a moral and innocent counterpoint to the often dark humor that permeated the show. His portrayal was nuanced and heartfelt, and it allowed viewers to see a gradual evolution of Radar from a naive young man to a slightly less naive and more world-weary person mirroring the broader themes of loss of innocence and the impacts of war that MASH explored. Memorable Radar Episodes Radar's Report, Season 2, Episode 3 In Radar's Report, Gary Berghoff's character is tasked with writing the weekly activity report. The episode is structured around Radar and his report, providing a narrative device that allows viewers to see events from his perspective. Radar's Innocent and somewhat naive viewpoint, provides a contrast to the often cynical and harsh realities of the war around him. His interactions with the other characters and his attempts to navigate the complexities and absurdities of the military bureaucracy highlight his essential role in the functioning of the unit. The Sniper, Season 2, Episode 10. The Sniper is an episode where Radar's role is crucial in terms of both plot and emotional resonance. The unit comes under fire from a local sniper, and Radar becomes a key figure in communicating with headquarters to try to resolve the situation. His fear and vulnerability during the crisis are palpable, and his reliance on the senior staff, especially Hawkeye and Henry, highlights the familial relationships within the unit. Radar's actions and reactions during the crisis provide a focal point for the episode, exploring themes of fear, bravery, and camaraderie under fire. The Kids, Season 4, Episode 8 in the kids, the unit becomes a temporary orphanage when a local school is bombed, and Radar's interaction with the children provides some of the episode's most touching moments. His genuine kindness and ability to communicate and connect with the children showcase his character's inherent goodness and empathy. Radar becomes the primary caregiver and protector of the children, and his efforts to ensure their safety and well-being provide a stark contrast to the often cynical and detached demeanor of the surgeons and their staff. Radar's Report In this episode, Radar is given a promotion to lieutenant which he initially finds exciting, but he soon realizes the promotion distances him from the enlisted men he supervises and places him in an awkward position with the officers. His struggle with his identity and place within the unit provides a central theme for the episode. Saying Goodbye One of the most memorable episodes for Berghoff was Goodbye Radar, which was a two-part episode where his character leaves the unit to return to his farm in Iowa. The departure of Radar was a significant moment in the series, marking a shift in tone and dynamics among the characters. It was a poignant moment that highlighted Berghoff's significant contribution to the series and allowed for a deep dive into his character's psyche. His final salute to the unit and subsequent departure were symbolic of the show's overarching narrative about the personal costs of war. Radar represented the everyman, thrust into extraordinary and often horrific circumstances. Berghoff's ability to infuse the character with genuine emotion and depth made Radar one of the most beloved characters on MASH. Why He Left Gary Berghoff's exit from MASH came not without a depth of emotional and practical considerations. It signaled a desire to recalibrate his life towards personal contentment and to be close to his family. His portrayal of Radar was not only a job but a commitment demanding relentless hours 
and a significant slice of his personal life. The charm and boyish innocence that Berghoff exuded on screen hid his aspirations for a more balanced and serene life, away from the constant biz of Hollywood. His role as a father influenced his decision to step back, as he wanted to be more than just a sporadic presence in his daughter's growing years. His departure was also entwined with his professional apprehensions about being eternally typecast. This is a predicament often faced by actors who are synonymous with their particular beloved characters. The departure from M.A.S.H. allowed him to delicately untangle himself from that endearing image of Radar, giving him the freedom to explore other avenues of artistic pursuit. A man of multifaceted talents, Berghoff, who's also an accomplished drummer and artist, looked for spaces and opportunities where his other abilities could shine. In addition, there were whispers of health concerns and the physical strain from the rigorous demands of production, and that may have played a pivotal role in shaping his decision as well. Ensuring his well-being and maintaining a healthy lifestyle away from the stress of Hollywood became imperative. Stepping away from the constant limelight gave Berghoff an opportunity to prioritize his health, give himself a chance for diverse artistic projects, and foster a nurturing environment for his family. Gary After Mash After leaving Mash, he faced the challenge, like many actors, of being associated with his role of Radar O'Reilly. However, the character of Radar wasn't immediately left behind. He reprised his role in a spin-off pilot called Walter, airing in 1984. The show was set to explore Radar's life after returning from Korea, transitioning to civilian life as a police officer in St. Louis. Walter, however, did not get past the pilot stage. It faced several challenges, including transitioning a beloved character from a well-established ensemble cast to a standalone protagonist. The shift from the war-torn setting of M.A.S.H. to the post-war environment also altered the thematic and narrative structure, perhaps not aligning with viewer expectations. Radar, who was often the moral and emotional compass amidst the chaos of war, may have lost some of the elements that made his character so compelling when he was placed in a more conventional setting. After Walter, he didn't step entirely away from acting, but did scale back his involvement in Hollywood. He made a few appearances in TV shows and films, like The Love Boat and Fantasy Island, and participated in MASH retrospectives. But his career had a diversified turn. An avid outdoorsman, Berghoff hosted a segment on the TV series The New Lassie in the late 80s and early 90s, where he shared wildlife and environmental conservation messages. He also hosted a series about fishing, Gary Berghoff's World of Wildlife, reflecting his passion for nature and wildlife conservation. He also, as a talented drummer and vocalist, spent time performing with his jazz band, The Wii Three. He's been involved in assorted business ventures as well, including inventing and patenting a type of fishing tackle and opening an art studio in Florida. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite episode of MASH? Let us know in the comments section below.